one of the best ways to win a war, to win in a, in a civil war, is to cripple the financial industry, a.k.a. run on the banks. Now, France tried it or tried to circulate the idea of a run on the banks, but they didn't have the numbers. 34 million people in the country, maybe only a million yellow vests in the street. One in 34 is not going to sink the banks. But Hong Kong... Ah, two million people out of seven million. Now that's a that's a ratio that can sink the bank. So guess what? Hong Kong is is planning. Hong Kong activist leader calls for a run on Chinese banks tomorrow. <laughs> Here we go, man. Now this is what separates the men from the children. Right? If they pull this off, they can freeze the banks. Most banks only have <laughs> only have about. Excuse me. My whole set is falling apart. Here. Most banks only have about 5% of the assets on retainer, meaning that if more than 5% of the people go to the bank and withdraw their money, there's no money to be had, right? So I don't know what's going on. So, so that's called a run on the banks. What happens is the banks shut the door and they freeze. They freeze the banks, right? And, and that's trouble, man. That is really trouble. Not only should they do that, after they, uh, after they uh, run the banks, they should just go home. So this is, this is good. I mean, listen, listen to uh, the activist in his own words. Prominent Hong Kong pro-independence pol- political activist Chen Hoshian has called for a run on Chinese banks, asking that everyone withdraw their money on the same day. That's tomorrow, Friday. Uh, arguing the, that large-scale protests have only led to injuries and escalating police brutality, Ho Xian believes another method could be used to severely undermine China's influence, a good old-fashioned run on the bank. Now, France f- stopped short of doing it. America, forget about it. People here are just too complacent. They're too busy. They're never going never gonna to do it. You want to you protest of a, a rigged election? Run the banks. You want to... Uh, you know, petition police brutality, run the banks. You want to, you know, whatever, whatever. You want to protest uh, gun violence or, or, or First Amendment uh, uh, rights, run on the banks. That'll get their attention. Always hit them in the pocket. Right? The oligarchs, that's the only way they ever react is if you hit them in the pocket. Arguing that, uh, so, so he suggested that another method could be used. I said that already. Impacting the financial system. He called on Friday, August 16th that Hong Kong citizens take out all bank deposits. The primary goal is Chinese banks, but he said other banks should also be targeted. Otherwise, Chinese banks can borrow money from other banks to solve their problems. Mm, I don't know about that, but if the banks, if the Chinese banks freeze and they have no, uh, it's it's questionable. Is China going to, you know, liquidate the banks? They may. I don't know. HSBC is a Chinese bank, but they run all the banks. Just run the banks. Wherever your money is, just take it out. Hong Kong has been rocked by weeks of violent protests by independent campaigners. Early this week, riot police stormed Hong Kong International Airport to clear them out. As we reported on Tuesday, while China is unlikely to invade using PLA troops, experts have suggested that the soldiers could be disguised as Hong Kong police. Yeah, that is a that is a problem. So this is big news for Hong Kong, right? Who else is reporting it? Uh, Summit News. That was uh, Zero Hedge putting it out. Look, you go to you go to uh, mainstream media. Put Hong Kong. Let's do it. Hong Kong. Just get the caps off. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Run on banks. Run on banks. What happens? In the news, nothing. It gives you an article, Hong Kong investors dump stocks. <laughs> Hong Kong, Cathay Pacific caught in the storm. So mainstream media is blacking out this story. Total blackout of the story. Bloomberg, Hong Kong's massive protest raise ominous questions. Nothing. Nothing in the news about, about this run on the banks. Asian markets royal by recession fears. Yeah, well, you should be roiling. But this is this is a real royal. This is the royal. This is a royal flush right here, right? So, kudos to the uh, to the to the Hong Kong citizens. Run your banks. Stay home. 
stay safe. Gandhi said, you know, passive resistance, the less you do, the better, right? Squeeze them. They'll come crying. They'll come, they'll come to the negotiating table because you're going to freeze their freaking banks. All right? It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. America, take note. France, take note. Democracies around the world, take note. This is how you fight back. Run the banks. An old-fashioned run on the banks. Marcus Conte reporting.